All right, the next one is the pillar of total integration, which is where we don't just kind of tack on a mental health day once a year or we don't kind of do our training and then we tick that box. It's about ensuring that mental health awareness and mental health processes are integrated into all of our policies, procedures and actions in the workforce. Now, yesterday I gave you a really simple question that is a great example of total integration, a question that you can ask any time you're developing a new project or creating any kind of plan or change in the workplace. Can anyone remember what that question was? What's the potential for fear? Yeah, what's the potential for fear? That's an example of total integration. Remember, if you're going to be asking the questions of what's the budget, what's the time frame, what is the manpower requirements, so what are my resource requirements, what's the capital outlay, what's the potential for fear? It's just another part of the process that occurs on a regular basis rather than adding it on once a year or twice a year as an afterthought or as a tack on to the end. So how often do you consider your staff's mental well-being in your day-to-day -day work? What can you do to implement regular check-ins with staff? And do you have a mental health commitment statement for your team? Have your policies and procedures been reviewed for alignment with that commitment statement or alignment with mental health? So has anyone got any ideas, before we go on to pillar number five, has anyone got any ideas about how you can integrate mental health awareness and mental health check-ins into your daily operations or your weekly operations with your teams or your, or your um, departments? Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.